AF. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Rachel, we are still filming along. It has been three days of filming, which really could have been just like a day and a half probably. But we've had some other meetings and things going on. So it's been really good. It We're has. We're super excited. Yes. I, lo I love the, the freedom that we have. It's not like we have a deadline. We have to film these videos. But yeah. we just want to film them, you know, to pour into all of you guys. So it, it's it's super fun. Yeah. So now we'll, we have like... 14 or so that we're going to be able to work on editing and then be scheduling those out to start addressing our one video a day plus a live stream that we're wanting to be able to conquer and jump into for 2019. There's so many different videos out there that we want to be able to, to make and have reference for when you guys email us and things like that. Um, and of course, our membership will be getting access to all of them first, which is wonderful. So um, that'll be fun. So as soon as we edit those, we'll be um, sharing and it'll be a lot, a lot of fun. So as you guys tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. Hopefully uh, notifications got sent out. Looks like it didn't rage. I Looks know. like there's no notifications. We, we might need to push it to like go live in 30 minutes. Maybe. Instead of I don't know. So soon. Um, you know? Sometimes it just takes it a little while to get notifications. So one time I was doing a live stream and I almost turned it off um, when I was in Michael's. It took like five to ten minutes for it to pop in. So if you got oh. a notification, let us know. It is February 1st, which means our 20% off offer ends today. So if you guys need to get your year membership, if you just got paid, anything like that, you do want to get that year membership today. Our 20% off ends um, and how you get that 20% off is click that first link down below. So I see some comments popping in. Maybe a few people are getting notifications. Oh yeah, they're pouring in now. Good, We're good. Good. Hopefully a lot more will be able to join and craft with us um, because this is a really fun project and it's a great one for you guys that had questions about like manipulating the cut files and giving different things to it. Um, and things like that. So we're super, super excited to start seeing some people pop in. I don't know why YouTube sometimes makes those notifications, just lags it out. So YouTube's not always perfect, but we do love YouTube. So thanks YouTube for allowing us to be here and hang out with you guys. It's the yeah. best ever. It's fun. Yeah. So it's Rachel, fun. what do you got going on? How is your Friday? It's good. It's good. It's it's pretty laid back, which is awesome. You know, we went to Starbucks and we filmed some videos yeah. and we got crafty. And now we're going to get crafty with you guys just in time for the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's the Super Bowl. Rachel, do we ever Google who who the Patriots are playing? Yeah, page. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Patriots in the Los Angeles Rams. Wow. Wow. Huh. I know nothing about football, as no one's I, did, surprised. I think Patriots have won, like, the last like three years. Didn't the Eagles win last year? The Eagles won. Fly, uh, fly high. Yeah, they did. Is it? Are we sure? Yes, because remember our producers, our little producer friend at Home Talk, she, her boyfriend was, like, there, and I was like, dude, look at her killing it. I could have swore the Patriots. Maybe not. No, I don't know. no, they won. Anyone know, anyone know in the comments who won? I'm sure we have year? people that are a lot more sports inclined than we are. So <laughs> I think the Eagles won last year. Maybe. That's where my money's going to be. Okay. All I'm going to say. About uh, last year. Right? About last year. Right. This year, I could care less. I don't know. Anyway, guys, in today's video, we are doing a little throwback cut file, um, and we're going to have a lot of fun making some really awesome, uh, really excuse me, a really awesome easy t-shirt is what I was trying to say there. Whew. Um, and we're manipulating a cut file from our Life Celebrations collection. So I love that collection. It's a really great collection. So be sure to leave us some comments. Rachel, what's everyone saying in the comments? Everyone is saying hello, where they're from. We have a lot of people that are super cold. So I'm sorry for all of you that are just it cold. is really cold. Yes. Eagles won. Yes. You're right. Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. That's good. <laughs> good, good, good. Awesome. Well, guys, if you're just tuning in with us, we want to let you guys know last day to get 20% off our membership. So it's the last day to get your year membership for the lowest price of the year. 20% um, off will get you access to everything at year membership, access to our over 80 fonts, 700 cut files our printable guides, everything like that. We've had so many of you take advantage of this um, special. So highly recommend you, if you haven't already, grab that, ask your questions during this live stream because today is it. Sad. Sad That's stuff. it. 
That's it. That's it. But so, I mean, it's worth every penny normally, anyways. But yeah. you all want the twenty percent off, so you, you better do. get it. And you get grandfathered in for that rate, which is just perfect. Um, we really love that. So. Yeah, have there been any questions? Deb just chimed in. Hey, Deb. She says, what types of iron-on cannot be layered? Um, gl so glitter can be layered, but it has to be the base layer. Um, regular, everyday iron-on, iron-on light can be layered on top of each other. So, like, you can layer on top of glitter, but not... You can't, yeah. I don't think I would do foil either. I'd let foil be the base layer. I wouldn't want to put foil on top of glitter. I don't think I'd want to do that. Right. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of different variations that are possible. Um, so you do want to research that depending on what types. Sport flex, I wouldn't want to layer um, and different things like that. But you can really slice out different images so that it's all adhering to your fabric. So you're not having to actually layer it, but it gives the layered look. So if you guys want a video on that, let us know because that's a great tip and trick to be able to slice out different images to give it that look so it's super super fun love it yeah um yeah are there any other um hot fired questions before we jump into today's project no more questions right now which is good i'm sure as we get craftier sure. they'll start rolling in definitely well let's go to the hot pad it's actually charged today which i appreciate um so we are going to just see here now, Rachel, this is the Mom Life um, image from Life Celebrations. It's such a great collection. So really quickly, here is all of our die cutting um, collections. So each of these have 30 to 50 cut files in each one, um, PNG and SVG. We have so many collections, we can't even count them all. Um, and we love this. So we have the uh, pet collection, the Christmas card collection, organization, home, Disney. Uh, but today we're working in life celebrations. So if we have any new members that maybe have not had time to check out some of our older collections, I'm going to say these two right here are two that I'm highly recommending. You're going to see starting Monday us using this collection a lot for Valentine's Day. We already have amazing Valentine's Day files, guys. So be sure to check out this collection. Um, Live Celebrations is one that you'll want to download and use year-round. Don't so, forget the Maker Collection, Tanner. Oh, okay, all three. Use there you three go. of these. These three are wonderful. And if you guys have been wondering about the sign behind me, the I Stay Up Late to Make stuff, pulled straight from the Maker Collection. So it's such a great collection. Um, I mean, we could zoom out and show you even more because we love all of our collections. Um, but these three are three that if you're a new member, you may have not heard us talk about. Um, so you, we highly recommend that. But today we're talking life celebrations because it's an awesome one. It has some really awesome files. We have the Happy St. Patrick's Day that doesn't have its own collection in there. Um, just things to celebrate life in general um, is in here. And one of it would be this cut file called Mom Life. Um, and it just has Mom Life football. Um, if you have kids in sports, if you're just a football mom, anything like that. This is an awesome cut file as is for you. But in today's video, we're going to talk about contouring that out and being able to just make a more generic shirt if you would or feel so inclined. And we may even, um, you know, contour out football and put Super Bowl 2K19 because um, that's super cool. Rachel had an idea where we could contour out football and then put, you know, 2K19 in the winning team. If you guys want to work on that project later on next week, that would be super fun. Um, and again, we're using our Easy Press and being able to create this really fun um, Cricut Super Bowl t-shirt. And we're using our just regular 9x9 Easy Press. Um, we just have a, a t-shirt right here. This is a um, kind of like a navy blue. What color would you consider this, Rachel? Yeah, it's like a dark navy. I don't know if I would consider it navy. I love this color, though. It's really nice. Maybe you'll just get a feel for it. We got these at, or these ones of the ones we get at Michael's? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so Gildan, or, or sold at Gideon Michael's. Gideon or Gil or whatever. Well, yeah, there's, oh. yeah there's, there's a few different variations. Pick, pick and choose what you want. Yeah. Um, but we love this one, and it's really awesome. So be sure to get your t-shirts at Michael's when they have the three for 10 deal. We love to stock up. And today we're using um, just iron-on light or everyday iron-on. Really great for shirts. This is the Cricut printable guide that we offer. It has a lot of reference pages in here for beginners. 
um, and we'll be using our easy press chart right here for uh, our t-shirt or our cotton t-shirts and things like that so um, I love that they put this on completely backwards anyway completely so backwards. yeah uh, the cotton right here so we'll know what temperatures to set this to great printable guide and again this is free with all membership tiers so monthly six month and yearly um, again if you want access to the fonts you do need to be a yearly member and in addition to yearly membership you get three bonus courses so how to use your Cricut Maker how to master design space and then how to build a business with your die cutting machine all valuable $150 value and that's the cost of the membership for 20% off so it's a really great value highly recommend you guys checking it out at the first link down below um, but yeah what's everyone saying Rach? well we've got some questions if you're Ooh, up for let's, let's handle those questions before we jump into the design space process okie dokie Tanya says Tanya. and I think this is the same Tanya from hey, yesterday so glad you're hanging out with us again who's killing it with the good questions she says for print and cut what is the difference between printing on white vinyl and using printable vinyl well first of all I would love to see someone try to print on just white vinyl because it, it will not work it will smear you have to have printable vinyl to do print and cut period you cannot use regular vinyl so Sharon says Hey, Tanner, Sharon. when working with iron-on, do you ever use Teflon sheets? Why do some people use it and some people do not? That's a great question, Sharon. I have no idea. I do not use a Teflon sheet. My projects still turn out great. I'm sure there's a reason they use it. I think on some materials, um, like if it's a poly, I can see where it comes in handy. If you don't have a Teflon sheet, just use a scrap piece of fabric, anything like that, just to be that barrier. But even a video we made, a few days ago with a pol like 50% poly, 50% cotton. Um, we didn't use a Teflon sheet. I don't know if that's bad. We just don't use it. I don't really know, to be honest. We haven't found a use we haven't for found, it. Yeah, yeah, we haven't been able to find why we need it for the things we do. So, great question. LaDonna asks, hey. Tanner, with the monthly membership, do you get the classes? You do not. So, the difference between our monthly membership and our yearly membership. First of all, there's a financial incentive. It is cheaper to go yearly. So first of all, cheaper to go yearly than being a monthly member for 12 months. Now you do have to pay the yearly in a lump sum, but we love that it's not having to be, you know, part of your monthly bills, things like that. It's a one lump sum payment. You're a year member. It's a cheaper price uh, overall looking at a one year membership. The monthly membership gets access to our digital cut file library. So 700 plus cut files. If you want classes and fonts, you have to be yearly. So the three courses at valued at $150 yearly only, access to our font dashboard, which has hundreds of dollars of value, has to be yearly. And again, 20% off ends today. So I highly recommend there is urgency here if you want that year membership. It, people asked us to extend it for, um, people getting paid this week people um that are on like social security or something they get paid just once a month that was the emails i heard so today is for all of you that wanted that yearly um to get it extended from monday to friday so we did that for you guys uh but that's a great question so yeah that's the difference between monthly and yearly yearly you have the courses for free um, the three classes for free excuse me not all of our courses and then you get the font dashboard and the digital cut file dashboard on monthly you just get access to the cut files so great question and caroline chimed in about hey, the teflon sheet and she says it wouldn't apply to us because we always use cricket but she says i think some brands of printable iron-on don't have a carrier i think just iron-on don't have a carrier sheet so that's why you would use oh. a teflon sheet to protect it <gasps> caroline which does is so sense. smart I know. she is like always killing it She's with the amazing it. questions she it. just made a pop-out card rachel and it's amazing oh i want her to come teach me how to make one oh paper crafts and she me. she killed it with the oh. valentine's day card so caroline amazing project teach me how do you how you were able to make that i want to yes. <laughs> and lynn says hey lynn so is this membership different from the cricket design space membership i'm new here <gasps> great question so our membership is geared towards inspiring you guys to use your die cutting machine 
We don't give you access to thousands of cut files and leave you hanging. We inspire you guys every single day here on the YouTube channel to get crafty, walk you through different techniques and tips and tricks to use with our fonts and cut files. So yes, it's totally different. This is not an affiliated um, membership with Cricut, but we use Cricut primarily. But if you have another type of die cutting machine that can work with SVG or PNG files like Silhouette Brother, um, you know, different brands like that, you'll be able to enjoy the membership as well. And Julie, hey, she's Julie. new here, and hey. she says that she has a burning question. <gasps> Ooh. She says, if I were to join, will I be able to ask my questions and possibly get directions or access to videos? Yes. So if you join, you get access to a member-only Facebook group, which is like, honestly, the most like under-talked about but highest value that we have. If you're part of any of the free Facebook groups out there on about cricket. There's thousands of people. They're rude. They're mean. I see too much of it. Um, we have a group where all of our members have access to it. It's a member only group. And what I love about it is that it's a really great size. So we have 2000 members in our group, which is amazing. So I just want to say thank you to all of our members watching and hanging out. You all are amazing. Um, but it's such a smart community. They're awesome. Um, sometimes the members beat me to answering questions, which is wonderful. <laughs> Um, and they're always so awesome. So we give tons of support on our staff and then the other members. It's a great supportive community. We've seen lots of people um, get a lot of value out of it. And you want to be with a community of crafters that understand you. Um, I don't know about you guys. I'm the only person in my family that crafts. So having that outlet to chat and share deals and hang out, I just love it. It's a great uh, place that I spend a lot of time. It's super fun. And yeah. every time you scroll through, it's all just awesome projects oh, and yeah. everyone's lifting each other up. Mm -hmm. Like Tanner said, there's no people critiquing, critiquing things in a bad way or slamming down you yeah, know, other is, people's crafts. It's, it's a great community. It's awesome. We all you know, make different projects. Some of the members recreate a lot of the projects we make here on the YouTube channel, which is awesome. I love to see your takes on different tutorials we give, like our leather bracelets and our, um, if I'm, what was the, sh the socks that we were able to make? The, if you can read this. If you can read the socks. I loved everyone's take on those. Madeline definitely killed it um, with just making me uh, just crack up uh, on hers. So we, we love our group. It's so much fun. And Tanner, people are already buying the printer. Oh, the the printer. Diane said that the hedgehog yesterday sealed the deal. Oh, she's, I love it. Guys, you want to use the print and cut with the Canon TS8120. Love and it. And Tanner, <laughs> um, I'll just ask like two more questions. Okay. And then we, can then we got to get crafty because I know you all are waiting. I know. I know you all are waiting. But <laughs> where can everybody with some questions about troubleshoot go? That's a great question. So if you have any troubleshoot questions, if you have any burning questions, that you need to be addressed um, individually, send us an email to our customer support team. That email is in the description box right down here, a link to our contact form as well as the email. But the email is hi, H-I, at makersgonnalearn.com. And we'll get back to you. Our customer service team works Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern time. And I'll just go ahead and say this is for Mahina, I, she's having a lot of questions here, a lot of problems, and I promise you will get everything answered if you just send us a quick email. We'll be able to help you a lot. Yeah, you know, definitely. A lot more. Any anything that you need, if you're having trouble um, accessing your account, didn't get your email login or anything like that, that will be handled over there. And if there's any particular things having issues with the cut file, we have lots of resources over there. The team is really awesome and um, we'll be able to take care of you. Unfortunately, here on the live stream, as I throw things down, um, is not the best place to handle you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So be sure to send us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Yes, yeah, so Mahina about your questions uh, and Karina about uh, logging in, just send everything that way and yep. we'll all get you taken care of. The team is working over there. We have a great customer service team that we really adore and just hands down amazing. So. They do things I could not be able to do, like handling all the emails and things. So we have to be here inspiring you guys and giving you guys motivation to to get crafty. Yes. So who's, who's ready to craft? Me. I'm ready to craft. I'm raising both my hands. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. So we have the Mom Life football image like we've been talking about. Um, I love, love, love this image, first of all. But a lot of people that may not be a mom, I mean, spoiler alert, I'm not a mom over here. <laughs> But, so I wouldn't find a lot of value using this image, I, you know, you could think. But 
What I love about it is let's select the image. Now we have a whole video on using iPad and importing We've, our files onto the iPad. So if there's any questions on how this file ended up on our iPad, be sure to email us and we'll send you a link to this project, or excuse me, to the video teaching you how to download and use cut files on your iPad. But we have all those videos in the membership. So if you're worried about um, uploading files, we walk you through every step of the way um, in the membership, which we love. So anyway, now we're going to be able to select actions. And there's this thing in Cricut called hide contour or contour. So it's called contour. And Rachel, this is mind blowing. I know. I I'm, love it. I'm ready. So we're going to be able to let's just click on it and watch what happens when I click over here. Oh, it just goes away. And you can zoom in. I, I keep clicking the wrong layer. <laughs> and it just goes away. So we love being able to manipulate our cut files. And this is just one more reason for you all to get your membership because even if you see a file but it's not perfect or it mm -hmm. doesn't tailor to you specifically, you can always manipulate it and make it 100% for you and it's exactly. awesome. Exactly. So now I'm going to pop over to any font and just see what fonts already have downloaded that we could use in today's. Oh my gosh, Wesley. Wesley would be good. Passion would be a good simple uh, I font. I think I'm all about Wesley at this point. It looks too good. So now we're going to click hide contour and we're contouring out football because we're going to make a Super Bowl specific shirt. Who does not want to be sporting a Super Bowl specific shirt? Hello. I'm zooming in, contouring these pieces out. Okay. So we were able to take this mom life image and just give us a basic football helmet, which is wonderful. So now if you're a year member, you're going to have access to this font. It's called Wesley. Um, it should already be here. So let's check under our system. And it's not. So I guess I never downloaded it to Cricut. So we're just going to click on that. And we're installing it. We're using a font that's $1.99. It's called, um, it is called Any Font. So we love that. And we do have a good question about Easy Presses. Um, I love talking easy press. Christine, she asks, you know, a question and I'll paraphrase it. Um, it's, do you have to use a specific easy press for a specific project or can you use like any easy press for any project? Here's the deal. I highly recommend if you are only able to purchase one easy press, which I like to state, you don't have to have multiple easy presses. Um, I love the nine by nine. It's a solid easy press. You can do things from ironing your curtains at scale to making a baby onesie or our socks. Like you don't have to have the three sizes. Do not feel worried. We spent a year crafting with just the nine by nine before all the different sizes came out. And guess what? We made it by just fine. Yeah, I mean, you could use the tiny one oh, for yeah. t-shirts and pillows and whatever, if that's what you've got. You know, they all, they're all amazing. They yeah. all work the same, just a bigger heat plate, you know? Exactly. Um, oops, I had to kill the app and restart it for our font Wesley. And you know what that did, Rachel? Uh-oh. Took all our hard work away. It did. So here, it's so easy to contour. We're just going to do it again. So Second here, time's the charm. <laughs> here we go. So hide contour. Throw some Cricut questions at me if there are any. Hopefully we explained it well enough that there's not any. But yes, the big easy presses will work completely fine on smaller projects, you know, or yes. vice versa. And for people wondering, like, here's my take. If, like I said, if you're only getting one, a lot of people think about just getting the large easy press, um, which is what I would think too. But I do want to let you all know, it takes a little bit longer to heat up because it's a larger surface. So Rachel knows how impatient I am. Right. Me too. I'm the same way. <laughs> um, so I love the non by non easy press probably because it heat, the easy press two heats up faster than the other one, um, which is great. So it's super fun. Um, okay, so now we've select, we've contoured out back to our helmet. And now what we're going to do is we're going to top out um, 2K19 Super Bowl, or should we do, we should say a Super Bowl 2K19. Super Bowl first, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. we're just gonna top in capital Super Bowl. And Super Bowl we learned is actually two words. We thought it was not. Super Bowl 2K19. And there is like 
What is this? So all the Super Bowls, of course, have Roman numerals, but we're not even going to try. We're not going to do Roman numerals. We're not going to try to do Roman numerals. That's too much. I too know. Much. You know what? For our own spacing's sake, I want to just do one word at a time. Sometimes I find that easier with some of our fonts. Um, and uh, Karina says, what is the difference between the Explore Air and the Explore Air 2? That's a great question. So um, they both have Bluetooth, uh, but the Explore Air 2 has faster, uh, like... Uh, cutting speed? Yeah, faster cutting speeds and different things like that. There's not too, too many differences, I do not believe, um, but it is definitely you know, worth looking into. Now, between the Explore Air 2 and the Maker, that difference That's is That's a big huge. difference. But if you're not wondering what that is, we won't even break into that. We have a video talking to you guys all about it. Now, do we want to do Super Bowl? Here, let's move this over. You could do Super Bowl and then put 2K19. That's what Actually, that looks pretty good, but... But, yeah, I kind of like your idea, Rach. It's I what I mean. I like the idea. Good. Here's what we're going to do. So, we're, we're just designing away, and this is fun. This is one of my favorite parts about Cricut. Um... So that looks pretty good. What we're going to do now. He's got his smart guides on. I love smart guides, guys. One of the best reasons to use your iPad, in my personal opinion. And then we're going to be able to make 2K19 look pretty big. Oh, my heavens. Oh, my. Look at that, Rach. Oh. I love this large 2K19. Do you like it? I thing? really do. Okay. I really kind of do. I don't know why. So this is a few different takes on it. You can do this. Um, it's awesome. Looks completely different than the than the file, which is really cool. Totally yeah. different than the file. You could do Super Bowl 2K19 on one line like we talked about. But the best part is you're able to enjoy our fonts and do whatever you want with it, which we love. So um, that's super awesome. And I really, I really like how it looks. I, I really think I do. Um, it's super fun. And yeah, so we're gonna be able to size this. This is a great time to talk about sizing. We love, love, love sizing our projects. Um, we recommend, is it eight inches wide for t-shirts? For adult t-shirts, you mm -hmm. could do like up to nine inches wide and it still look pretty good. I would stick around if you have a, you know, a women's shirt, I'd stick, I'd stick around eight. Yeah, and I had a question um, that was asked on a YouTube video. And me being a male, I can't answer this, Rachel. Oh, okay. For women's shirts, you know, we talk about for t-shirts, putting it like three inches below the neckline. Right. For a woman's t adult t-shirt, would we recommend four inches? No, I would recommend the same as, I mean, it, any shirt. I would say okay. three to four inches is okay. a good place to be. Cool. I get, you know, what the point is. You don't want it like right in the middle of your chest, basically. Sure. You know, so. I, I don't, I didn't understand well, the question. So right. I was like, oh, last well, Rachel. Right, right. You, you want it pretty high up there, you know, you don't want yeah. it too low. So we went ahead and automatically made ours nine inches wide, and it automatically set the height to 11.5 inches, which I think would be a good size. Do you see any reason we would need to make it less than 11.5? Um, Tall? Hit height, yeah. Mm. Maybe that's a little too long. I mean, it's pretty big, but I mean, it, hey, this is a men's shirt, you know. True. We can, we can go crazy. It's Super Bowl 2K19. <laughs> yeah, and this is a large t-shirt, so that could be a difference. If you're making a medium, maybe you don't want it to go down 11 inches. Maybe oh, yeah. you would want to stop it at nine and a half. Yeah, and of um, course, if you're making like a, a youth t-shirt, don't make it oh eight gosh. inches wide, you know. Please don't. Yeah, Please just don't. measure your projects. Please measure your shirts, measure your onesies, things like that. People use, usually ask us sizes. And I think because they just think they can make it the exact size we did and it's all fine, measure your own projects. Because your large t-shirt could be totally different than our large t-shirt. You just never right. know. And Tanner, what is your favorite brand of HTV for shirts? Ooh, for all of our newbies out there, we love Cricut Iron-On. This stuff is amazing. It's not um, in this packaging anymore. This is old packaging. But it's Everyday Iron-On by Cricut. It's wonderful. We love it. So now what we're going to do, notice... I just thought we could just do this. I get confused. And if you're a cricket newbie, you'll be confused too. Rachel, look at this. She big. She is really big. Maybe we'll size it down. We have to go back anyway. Why is Bowl over here for We're our super. project? And Super's down here. Oh, wow. So here's what you need to do, guys. Once you've designed it and it looks beautiful, you need to be able to select all the layers. And for this project, you could choose two buttons. You could choose Attach or you could choose Weld. If you choose weld, 
there's no going back and modifying this project. So if you want to go back and modify it, just use attach. So we've attached our image, and I'm going to size it down just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Um, now we're going to click make it, and we're replacing what we just was able to look at on the mat. And look how awesome this looks. Beautiful. It's beautiful. So we're going to click mirror. Let me talk about why. Let me grab my mat out of here just so we, for all of our newbies, I think we have a lot of new friends here. We do. So this is our iron-on on the mat. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. Pretty shiny, right? And that, look at this back. So this back, why you're going to pay more for iron-on is because it has built-in transfer tape. Look right here at how shiny this is. So when we say, um, when you're reading a blog post or something, shiny side down, you put it on the mat. So you put that shiny side on the mat, um, just like so. And whoa, I made this huge air bubble. I'm going to have to correct. All right, so perfect. So that's what we mean by shiny side down so that you mirror your image on here. So it's going to be reverse, but when you flip it over and have the transfer tape, after we weed it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So stick with us. Yes, I know it seems confusing. Just go with it. You'll Definitely. get in the rhythm of it. And I'll never forget my first iron-on project. It was very confusing to understand, but it was Tanner, well worth it. Tanner, can you remember what it was? Yes, we made what the. What was it? We made a headboard, and it was very fun, but it was very confusing. Um, to, we did a monogram headboard, and understanding iron-on was <laughs> was pretty difficult. Wait. We made the pendant banner, but I think we made the pendant banner after we made the headboard. I think the headboard was, was the, our first. Tanner, was the headboard our first iron-on project? It was. What? Yes, and what's funny is the video we made for Cricut, still to this day, you could see us making it on a Facebook or Instagram ad. Cricut, oh, uh, yeah. Cricut oh, yeah. is still running that ad, which I think is hilarious. I have to, okay, I have to tell the people. If you ever see that post on our blog or you see it, you see the finished picture, whatever, okay, the bed, <laughs> it's a table. Like, I brought, like, my duvet cover, oh my threw it over a table. It this looked was before, so homey. This was when we were working out of an office, and we just didn't have time to take our lights and stuff. So we used our conference table but as a bed. it just so happened. It looked great. That the conference table was the exact size of, like, a bed. Of a full-size bed. Right. It was insane. So cool. Long, fun story. That was many moons ago. <laughs> many moons Many ago. moons ago. Um, so it's super fun. So we're going to give a little bit more pressure to our iron-on. Or actually, I've been having some iron-on issues. I'm going to just leave it default. Yeah. Because it's been cutting through the transfer tape, and I don't like that. Fresh blade. Fresh blade, yep. man. Fresh blade. So we've loaded that in there. Um, we've got all that. We're going to turn fast mode on. Are there any questions as we begin cutting? I'm going to press the flashing cricket button. Nah. Of course there are, Tanner. There's always awesome questions. And I know you said you wouldn't answer it because no one has asked. Well, oh, guess what? what? They've asked. Oh. Karina says, what is the difference be between... Oh, wait, no, that's not the right one. Hang on. Well, anyways, I can't even, I don't even see where it's at. She asked the difference and the benefits with the Maker versus the Explorer 2. That's a great question. We have the whole video explaining that, so I highly recommend checking out our comparison video. Um, but first of all, I do like to say the Maker has 10 times the pressure with the adaptive tool system, so you're able to use the scoring wheel, the knife blade, and the rotary blade that you're not able to use in our Cricut Explorer 2 print. Yeah, and so you can cut like wood, fabric, you can score lines awesome yeah. with the scoring wheel instead of the scoring stylus. stylus. Right. Um, and that's super fun. Uh, but yeah, so that's the biggest differences. Um, you know, there's a lot of the look of the maker is definitely a selling point in my opinion. I love it and it's really fun. So great question. I recommend the maker for people that want to just make all the things. If you're using things that only use the fine point blade, vinyl, iron-on, cardstock, vellum, things like that, um, you can look in our Cricut printable guide. You can look here under doo -doo 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 -doo, our blade charts, which I love. So here's our blade charts. This is, if you're a newbie, you will be able to see what all you can cut with just the fine point blade. You can see what you can cut with the knife blade. You can see what you cut with the deep point, the deep point blade. Um, these are the things. This is what knife blade does. This is what the fine point blade can cut. It's multiple pages, lots of great stuff. Um, and then you can see the rotary blade. So these are all blades that you would want to be able to use. You know, the rotary blade is for the maker only. The fine point blade is for both machines. Knife blade, 
uh, maker only. So use that to help decide what machine you want. And again, all members get this free. So it's super fun. And let's see here. Lynn wants to know what size iPad are you using? Is it an Air or a Pro? I love your videos. Um, was it an Air or a Pro for the iPad? Yep. We're using um, just a regular iPad. I, I think it's just the sixth generation iPad. I don't even know if it's an iPad Air. Uh, that's a great question. I have no idea. And Ariana wants to know, hey. can you all do videos or a video on pairing fonts for projects? Ooh, so we have a lot of that coming up. Um, it's going to be a lot of great stuff. I highly recommend, in addition, we'll be having some really great um, classes for the year members so that they're able to enjoy. So you're also getting amazing pairing with fonts and manipulating and things like that um, if you get your year membership, which you'll want to get um, by today for 20% off. But again, we love our regular price too. It's a great value for everything you get. And Sabina wants to know, when do you use fast mode? Ooh, I use fast mode all the time. <laughs> like, if, it, if fast mode's an option, I'm doing it. Simple as that. No, there's a couple there's a things. Few times, there's a few times. Like, if you're cutting vellum, honestly, the only thing we found that we don't want to use fast mode for, vellum. That's it. Everything else, we're using I don't it know. all the time. I don't much care to use it for, like, more intricate paper projects or things That's like that. That's true. I'm don't... using card sock. You know, just... Just let the cricket be be its thing. Just let it do its thing. Rachel, no need for fast mode. If you ain't got nowhere to be, no places to oh go, just, just let her go. For us, we always are, you know, on lives, we're wanting to go fast as possible so we can have more time to chat and things course, like that. Of course, of um, course. But yeah, you, I'll, I use fast mode even just when it's just me. So that's my personal take on it. Rachel has another take on it. I mean, I, t I appreciate fast mode. I definitely, you can tell a clear difference. She goes way faster. It, she really does. And it's yeah. louder. It, yeah. That's one of the things when you have fast mode on and you maybe hear my machine cutting and these mics hopefully help that. Um, I know the old mic did not too bad. Um, you could tell a big difference. And Tanner, Tammy wants to know, can you purchase, can you purchase that booklet? No, Tammy, this is for members only. This is. It's our plan, our goal to somehow talk everyone into being a member. Yes. So we only There's give this. There's so much. Just like our fonts and our cut files, you have to be a member to get access to all the fun. Because you're not going to get a really cool printable guide anywhere else. No. That's, and that's all I'm saying. Like, so honestly, this is kind of crazy. If you are like Tanner, I don't know if I want to be a member. First of all, what can I do to convince you? Second of all, um, you can become a monthly member today for 20% off. It would be $15.99, and you could be a member for just a month. There's no um, like long-term contracts or anything like that, any agreements you'd have to agree to. You can just cancel your membership after a month, and in that month, you could have access to over 700 cut files, which is a huge deal, and then you get to download your printable guide and as long as you have an active membership, active, notice I'm saying active, you get the free commercial license as well. So that's a huge deal for $15. And you could cancel after that first month if you would want, or you would probably see how much fun the members have. I was about to say, you don't, we won't want to cancel. Yeah, that you wouldn't want to cancel and probably would want to upgrade to a year um, as many people have. So again, if you're a monthly member right now and you're like, that's where I'm at, go get your year membership and just email us and we will cancel out that monthly billing cycle so we don't charge you anymore for monthly if you want to go ahead and switch to yearly which a lot a lot of people have been able to do because they saw how awesome the fonts were they were like whoa i love the year members that have sent me emails and was like tanner i did not expect the fonts to be this awesome that's what i thought was they're horrible. pretty darn cool and like I like to say, you get on the font dashboard and you find fonts you didn't even know you wanted, but now that you ha you've you seen them, you have to have them. Exactly. Like you, you just think of projects that you can make with the fonts. You get inspired, and that's the whole point of the membership is just to inspire you all to get crafty, to spend time with your Cricut or with your, you know, Brother Scan and Cut or your Silhouette and just have some you time making awesome stuff. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. So with the Wesley font, there's these little intricate lines. lines that we have to weed out, which I think are adorable. I'm super pumped to, to have these. But this one does not want to come up. 
And Christine, hey, Christine, she bought a membership earlier in this live video. Oh, yay. And she she was one of the uh, people who contacted the Help Center. Awesome. And she said, Tanner and Rachel, thanks for answering all my questions. You have been so great. Also, the email Help Center is excellent. Woohoo! Thank so you. So we're thank so you. glad that you got what you needed. Yes. Oh, look at this. Look at how intricate the cricket can cut, guys. Are you looking at these tiny little lines that we're weeding out of the bowl? That's really cute. And like, it's so tiny. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. What? It's crazy. Um, but I love this font for that reason. It's very intricate and something super cool that the Cricut can totally accomplish. Super Bowl? Super Bowl. Do you watch the Super Bowl, Tanner? Rachel. Have you? Have I ever watched the Super Bowl? Have you ever watched the Super Bowl? Yes. Okay. I usually... Um, you want to know the one year that I did watch it? This is good. If anyone knows me, I'm obsessed with Katy Perry. I, I watched the year right, that she, she was right. at the halftime show. And my cousins actually had a Super Bowl party that year. That's the only reason I actually watched it. Yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't for Katie, but that was a definitely a perk. I'll watch the Super Bowl with food. Like I just, <laughs> I just go for the food. My in-laws are like, "Yeah, we're cooking. We got a bunch of chips and dip." I'm like, "Okay, chips I'm there. And dip. I'm there." That's I just go, all you I just need. go for the snacks. I just love snacks. I know it's. I, I need to find someone's Super Bowl party that knows how to party. And with and what I mean by party that knows how to party. <laughs> what I mean by party knows good food. I don't have any one that ever has a Super Bowl party that has good food that I know of. If any of my friends are watching, and you want to invite us, um, let me know. I'm ready. I have nothing going on Sunday night. I'll probably on Sunday night. I usually get ready for my week at Starbucks um, and just work on some emails or something. Very chill, very relaxed. Um, so I'll probably just be doing that. Well, better than nothing. Oh, definitely, definitely. So we're just weeding out this project. So all you do is just weed it out, guys. If you've never weeded any projects, you can see here it's exactly as it looks like right here. I think weeding iron on is therapeutic. Though. Oh, for sure. I love weeding iron on. It's and Tanya fun. says, I signed up for a month membership, and two days later, I wanted to upgrade to a year. Aw, woohoo. That's super sweet, Tanya. And... April wants to know how much is the one year membership? That's a great question. So you'll want to click that first link down below to get your membership, but we'll let you all know. So usually a year membership is $191.88 or like 33 or something. Um, and today you can get it last day of the sale. If you're just tuning in with us, we, it ends February 1st today at midnight. Um, so with 20% off, you will get the membership for 153 which remember you're getting those bonus courses which those alone are worth the price of the membership not even including the fonts the cut files the printable guides that people are begging we sold um, separately and honestly you want to have a membership so that you're able to stay in the know with all of our cut files and if you love the free videos that we make here you're going to love the membership. We're yeah. always talking about it. We're always using cut falls from it. And it's the number one way to support what we do here. Um, people, you know, will sometimes comment and be like, really, you talk about the membership a little too much. But I do want to just bring this up. We wouldn't be able to make, I would say we wouldn't be able to make half, over half the videos. We wouldn't be able to make three fourths of the videos that we do and live streams if it wasn't for the membership. This is the number one way to support what we do here. Um, other Cricut channels make revenue in a lot of different ways um, for being a Cricut affiliate. We wanna be you know, an independent source. So being able to have the membership is a great way to honestly support what we do and allow us to come almost every single day. Are there any other Cricut YouTubers that are like making a live video every, every day? I honestly don't think there are. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. think so. And we always use a cut file or always. our um, fonts. We always yes. use, we have oh, never not used one of our own fonts. And so, we love it. So it's a huge thing. And yeah. if we do a video for Cricut, we'll use the Cricut artwork. And I have a Cricut Access membership um, from Cricut, uh, but I love our cut files. And I think if you're a beginner, um, our videos are perfect for you guys. So we highly recommend that. So anyway. We're going to open up our t-shirt. We weeded that out. We're going to open our printable guide to where it talks about our everyday iron-on or light we're using 100% cotton. So we're gonna set that to 315. We're gonna turn that easy press on. And Rachel is so awesome. She already had it set to 315. So we're gonna let that heat up. And if there's any questions, Rachel, let me know. 
Oh, there are. There always are, which is Yay. great. Uh, Juanita says, I missed it. Is that helmet available in the Makers Gonna Learn files? Yes, so you missed earlier. This is from our Life Celebration collection. Normally, it says Mom Life. We contoured that out, and it normally says football. <gasps> Thank you for asking this question because I noticed two spots I forgot to weave. <laughs> and it also normally says football. We contoured the football and contoured Mom Life out, and we used our Wesley font to put Super Bowl 2K19, and now we just have a great football image. So for all of you out there that's a member that's talking about wanting videos on manipulating cut files, using them for different things, I mean, just look at how this adorable, adorable shirt is going to look. I'm definitely wearing this on game day, Rachel. Are you? Look at this. Do look it. Look at this. Super awesome. Super, super awesome. So anyway, we'll fix that here in a little bit as our Easy Press is heating up. We're super excited. And again, guys, while we have a second, if you're wanting more information on how to get your membership, we'll walk you through that really quickly. And about design space, can, um, can Ev Evelyn says, hey. can we save the fonts and files on our Cricut Access? Um, you save it to your Cricut account. So after you upload a cut file, which you have to upload individually, it is there for you forever. So I'll show you what that means here in a second. But if you're considering um, being able to use and get our membership, you need to open the description and click this first link right here. So this is the special for you guys to get 20% off. It'll take you to our website and we use PayPal as our payment provider. We don't store your credit card, debit card information, banking info. If you know you want the best value possible, click the blue button. Um, that's our year. Um, if you want to read about the what we offer, and then you can see the different tiers of membership. This is what I mean about that financial incentive. You're getting three months free compared to being a monthly member for a year. So $12.99 a month billed annually versus $15.99 a month um, every single month. That was the Cricut chirp saying that we are good to go. So again, this page right here, you don't have to use any um, special codes. Here's the 20% off pricing. And once you click on the tier of your choice, if you are paying with a credit debit card, click the gray button. If you have a PayPal account, click the uh, yellow button, okay? So super, super awesome. And now we're going to be able to um, apply the iron onto our shirt. But first, and is, uh, does anything else need to be weighted in the letters or is that um, how the font is made with the, hang on, P, B, and O? We've just got oh some my gosh! That are thank you. To know. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I got too excited. Too excited. Thank you. Excited. Who told me this? This was... I kept looking at it and I was like, "What's wrong?" Let me see. I am sunflower. Diane said it, and then one or two other people. You guys are awesome. They're not going to let us have a craft fail team. No, they're not. None of these wonderful no. people are going to let us. And we have a, some awesome questions. Ooh. Do you ever preheat the fabric first? Yes. When and why? Hold on. We'll. I did. I have this weeding Tanner's issue. Tanner's like, hang on. Hang Hold on. on. That's a great question. Okay. Okay. Woohoo! Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. Now it's weeded. I think we're all good. There is this little no. No, it's not. Okay, it's fine. Um. All right. I feel comfortable. Do you? We're we're going to preheat the shirt. And the reason why we preheat the shirt is it helps. First of all, get any wrinkles out of the shirt. So we're gonna just lay this down and we're using an easy press mat here. These things are amazing. Even though we love using our nine by nine easy press, we love this big 16 by 20 easy press mat for all of our projects, super fun. So we're going to take this and we're not. We're going to preheat the shirt. And the reason why is it, it's going to get out any wrinkles, first of all, but it's also going to warm up this fabric and ap help apply the iron on even better well um, we can tell a clear difference from definitely. when we do preheat the fabric and when we don't exactly so we recommend that totally um, so we're just going to take that and notice how I moved it around when you're using the easy press please do not do that this is just for when you're preheating so I just kind of like eyeball it um, for our our shirt right here about again like three inches down or so so this looks good. This is a little bit longer image, so it can go up just a hair more if you would like it to. Um, and once you apply it down, you're gonna pick up the Easy Press. You're gonna sit it down, press that flashing Cricut button, and give some good 
evenly distributed pressure, okay? Um, I have a standing desk that is like up to my like waist, like my rib cage, like I'm a pretty short person, but um, you want to just give that evenly distributed pressure um, with your arms, make sure it's firm. Notice we're not moving the easy press because that can move the iron on and things like that. And yes, if we were using the larger easy press, this could be a one and done project, but it's beeped. So we're gonna move that down. We're gonna pick it up, look at it, seeing a little bubbles, which is good. Um, you can look at it. We'll hit the back too. And we've got like 10 questions if you're ready. For well, let's them. hit them. Okie dokie. Um, Hope <laughs> says, I heard that you're capping the summit. Will you keep us informed of available seats? Not been able to sign up just yet. Yes, we will for sure. We are, um, as of now, we have quite a few seats left, but we do feel like it's going to be full. Um, we're only trying to have a few hundred and we're trying to see what that really looks like. So we'll keep you guys informed. We're going to be doing a video all tomorrow, um, teaching you and giving you guys all the summit information for the ones that are like, what's the summit and haven't really got to learn a lot about it. That's going to be tomorrow's video. So now we're turning the shirt over and we're going to hit the back of the uh, back of the shirt. And let's see here. I am Sunflower says, so your cut files are separate from the Cricut Access cut files? Yes, these are 100% hand lettered um, using our own art. We work with an independent artist to develop this artwork and you'll never see it anywhere else. They're exclusive to our membership as well as our guides and fonts. So it's super awesome. You'll love our membership. And April wants to know, do you pre-wash the shirts before you add the iron on? Uh, yes, we highly recommend you guys to pre-wash your shirts. And look at this. After you hit the back, Rachel, are we getting this? Oh, look at this here. Look at this awesome shirt. I love the Wesley font. Tanner, I was about to say, that's a great font you chose. I love it. I think it's perfect for the Super Bowl. And this file, oh my gosh. Look How at this cool. awesome shirt. How stinging adorable. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. There you Whew. go. I'm a short little boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish I was taller. Um, I'll give you some of my inches. Rachel, you should. I wish I was as tall as Rachel. Anyway, but here is our finished t-shirt, guys. Who is ready to get ready for the Super Bowl using our brand new font, using one of our throwback cut falls that you're going to love. It's so much fun being able to contour out our images and use them for multiple different types of projects. And this is such a functional, real project you would want to be making on this Friday afternoon and things like that. So what other questions? I know you said there's like 10 questions. Oh yeah, we got through a few of them. Yeah. So uh, Evelyn says, what is the difference between a membership and then the summit? That's a great question. So the summit is a two day physical um, virtual events. It's a physical virtual event that you get access to 10 classes. They're one hour each and our members get um, a huge savings. A ticket is normally 197. Members get a ticket to the summit for 147 and that's additional crafting training. It's really like an overload of creativity um, in lots of different angles. Things that we want to talk about and we love being able to carve out a weekend of our time and your time um, and say, we are dedicating this to craft. We're all about inspiring you guys to craft and we love when we're able to get together for a whole weekend and hang out and craft. So that's what the virtual summit is. You get unlimited access to the courses and things like that. Um, if you're a member and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to get the ticket for the spring one. I missed the fall summit, something like that. Check your email. We have sent that for the special link as well as in the Facebook group. So it's really awesome. And I know that we do redirect most of the um, troubleshoot questions, but yeah. Edith is, I think, needing a quick fix. And I think oh. you might be able to help her. What is it, She's Edith? trying to sign up right now, but doesn't see where she can pay with a credit card without PayPal. Right. So what you would do is click that gray button, like we said, and you enter in the credit or debit card of your choice. But you will have to set up a PayPal. It does require you to have a PayPal account, and that's for you. That is for you to monitor your payments with us. If at any time you need to cancel, you're able to independently without us go into PayPal and cancel that. So hope that answers your question. Um, PayPal is really secure with our information and yours. Um, and honestly, PayPal is always on the side of the 
um, the purchaser rather than the, the company on most parts. So it's a great um, company from our perspective and it helps us a lot from having the liability of managing credit card information. Right, but it's super professional, super secure. We love yeah. PayPal, PayPal's great. Okay, uh, Kathy said, if you wanted to put iron on on the front and back of the shirt, are there any tips you can offer? Um, maybe just to make sure the front, like after you do the front, um, put like your mat in the shirt to protect the front when you're hitting the back. But that's I don't smart. think so. Yeah, that's, that's, smart, that's the only though. tip I would think of yeah. that would be different. Just so that this doesn't heat up and bubble or maybe come up, yeah. just put the mat in there um, or the towel if you don't have a mat. So the same process, just do the same process but with the towel inside the shirt. That's a great question. I would also make sure that you're uh, really measuring the back. I feel yeah. like it would be more noticeable to see if the back was you know, yeah, and you would want to put center. you would want to put the back of the like if you're putting a design on the shirt on the back you would want it down like maybe four and a half to five inches yeah pretty low rather than like three or a little four. bit lower so a little bit lower definitely but yeah and I love this shirt Evelyn says is there a video on how to remove um, iron on vinyl yes we already have posted it go check it out it's how to remove HTV vinyl from a shirt and it's really awesome it's a product I and mean, the video is super quick because the process is flawless. Um, and you're going to love it. So be sure to check out that video. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But that's all the questions we have. Awesome. Everybody's given a lot of love to this and the font. Yay. It looks great. Well, guys, again, if you need to get that membership, be sure to take advantage of it today. I don't want to see any emails over the weekend saying, oh, I missed the sign up, um, anything like that, because we've extended it and extended it for you all. So this is it. Be sure to take advantage. Again, 20% off if you haven't got your membership. If you're a member, Hustle on over and check out that Life Celebrations collection. Again, if you want to be ahead of the game, go download the Valentine's Day collection, start planning out some projects, and then come Monday, we're going to be getting crafty with our Valentine's Day collection. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and we cannot wait to share with you guys all of the crafty fun. Any last questions, Rachel? Yes, one more question. Okay. Mary had a great hey, question Mary. about the summit, and I know you can help her out. Of course. She says, first time I get to see you live. Hello, Tanner. Yay. I've signed up for the summit, but I can only see the second day live. How can I see the first day that I missed? Oh, great. So if you are you talking about um, a summit ticket from the fall summit? No, she has a ticket, but she can only be there one day. Oh, that's a great question. So if you already have your summit ticket and you're only able to attend live with us for the second day, you will get a recording of, first of all, the whole first day. It's like five or six hours. But then after the summit's over, we'll send you the HD recordings for all five of those classes in high quality, as well as the recap of the whole day. So don't have any worries if you are busy on the 9th and available on the 10th or busy that whole weekend. We totally understand. And we want to make sure everyone feels as included as possible for attending our summit. So yes, they're and at you your get those pace. videos forever. forever. It's awesome. We love it. So be sure to check that out in the Facebook group and your email if you missed it. So super, super awesome. We can't wait to be back tomorrow sharing more awesomeness about the summit. But guys, hope you all enjoyed the Super Bowl. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Um, but until then, stay crafty, my friends, and we'll see you over in the Facebook group. And if you're considering membership, I would love to see you over there. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Bye.